I, I'm, I'm honored that you're here. Uh, welcome to the show. Well, thanks very much, and thanks for inviting me. Oh, please, you can come on whenever. You, you, you are the subject of this documentary, Jane, just premiered at the Toronto Film Festival. Is, 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 it, is it weird for you to see a documentary about your life? Well, you know, there have been many, and when it was first proposed, I thought, what, another documentary about the chimps back in the 60s? Yeah. But, and uh, I couldn't imagine that there could be anything new, but when I watched that, more than any other documentary I've seen, it took me absolutely back into those days. And it's footage that kind of disappeared, and it's footage that hasn't been seen before, taken by uh, my then husband, Hugo Van Lauwick. And it, it's really, I mean, there I am, a young girl with these uh, extraordinary chimpanzees whom I got to know so well. Yeah. I mean, do you, do you remember like what like when you first when you first were there and you go, this is what I want to do. I know you had that since you were a little girl, but you're there. You're in Tanzania, uh, and I, I got to spend some time at your research yes. center, and it is it is. I mean, I was frightened when I met the chimps, I, because I don't know. I, I went up and they smell. They have like a a perfumey smell to them, <laughs> don't you think? Or... Well, it's a uh, to me, it's a foresty smell, really? unlike the gorillas who kind of stink like a sweaty person. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the, chi this, the chimpanzees aren't like that. It's they perfume or this, something. It's pungent. It's, it's something. It's, uh, I remember going, really hiking up this trail, and we are hiking up a long hike, and I, I, I almost couldn't even do the hike. And by the time I got to the top, <laughs> I'm, I smell these, uh, these chimpanzees, and I see two of them, and one of them starts going like, <laughs> like screaming. And I go, oh, yes. That's exactly what they did. And I was like, he didn't, he's not a fan of my movies. That's what I immediately thought. But the ground is kind of rumbling. If anyone lives in the city, it's like the subway going, rumbling. Anyone who lives uh, in the jungle, it's like a, a chimpanzee. Uh, is it yelling? What do you call that? We just Pant hoot. Pant hoot. Yeah. And it's, is, what are they doing there? Just saying that they're the well, they're alpha? Just saying hello. Well, it, it, there's different kinds of pantoots, and probably the one you heard was uh, two males greeting each other, or yes. it, it could be. I don't but, know. I wasn't there. But what? <laughs> <laughs> but what would have, what, would, what should I have done, if anything, if they saw me or I didn't make eye contact? I, first of all, I was eating an apple. Before I went up, and the, the, the guy that was working there, the scientist that was there, said, don't bring your apple. Because I was just going to toss it. Because, you know, it's just an apple core. <laughs> but he's like, what if, like, what are you doing? Like, what, then, and what if a chimpanzee picks up an apple, or maybe the apple becomes a tree? I'm like, Johnny Appleseed. I'm bringing <laughs> apple trees <laughs> to Tanzania. Yeah. Never happened. You know, chimpanzees will not eat anything they don't know. So if an infant, they're the curious ones, I think they start new cultures. If an infant had gone up to sniff and try your apple core, yeah. the mother would almost certainly have hit it away. That's not food. And I would have been passed out. I mean, that's, I was laying on the ground. Like, oh, 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 oh. I was so scared. But it was the most beautiful thing. And I, I see, and if, and if any of you, uh, I, I want to bring, I have two little girls now. This is since uh, I've been there four and two, but I don't, I don't know. If, I think they're too young to go there. They're too young. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but when, if uh, what would I, what, what would you tell them if, if you could give them one word of advice? What do you tell the future generations? Well, that's why I started this program, Roots and Shoots, which is in encouraging. It's inspiring young people. They get to choose projects to help people, to help animals, to help the environment. Yep. We don't tell them what to do. So they can, you, you know, whatever they're passionate about, someone to help dogs, someone to help street children. It's amazing how young people have different passions. Roots and shoots. Roots and shoots. Yeah, that's we work with those guys. Rootsandshoots.org, Roots. and it's in 100 countries. Right? And we have members from preschool through university. I and mean, it's changing the world, these young people when they understand the problems and you empower them to take action, then they are changing the world. And my goodness, don't we need to change the world? Yes, yes, we do. <laughs>